Hi guys, this is Amy Simmons with the Simmons Realty Team, and this is my husband John. Hey guys. And we are honored to meet um, Scott and Amy Angelo today, who are the founders of Oceana Coffee in Tequesta. And this is part of our Entrepreneur of the Month video. And um, yeah, and the intentions, as you guys know, is to bring attention to their business, and they're really doing something extremely unique here that we don't see every day in Quest or Jupiter. Right. So we thought they'd be perfect to sit down and. And have just, them tell the story. Right. And what we've learned about coffee is that it's a fruit, right? <laughs> yes. It's a fruit. We've also learned that um, their coffee is recognized globally at this point. And uh, a little bit about how you got into coffee was how, when did you get into it and what was the, the basis for why? The, I think the basis for when we got into coffee and Oceana Coffee was born was um, 2009. Uh, I couldn't find a coffee that I was used to or that I really wanted to drink. Right. Um, so I decided to re-engineer the popcorn maker and and uh, <laughs> make it myself. So it stemmed from a coffee, it actually stemmed from a bag from a roaster on the east coast of the US and Amy and I shared the cup and it was mind blowing. So we're like, okay, how do I do this for myself? Every okay. day. Every day. Yeah. So the other thing that we found out is that um, you guys only choose the top 5% yep. of the coffee beans from around the world. Yep. So... So uh, the top 5%, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, different gradings and if you... Belo we belong to the Specialty Coffee Association and part of the grading system is that the coffee has to score above a certain point score, okay. so 85 points and above. It has to have minimum amounts of defects and usually it ends up being in the top 5% of the coffees available from around the world. So okay. there's, a, there's a very fine definition of what um, specialty grade coffee is and even within that we choose what coffees uh, to bring in. So okay. you know, according to the scores that I give it or according to the samples that I get or what I've experienced out there in some of the trade shows and some of the different connections that I have, that's w what we bring in. Okay, and they're all hand-picked. They're all grown at high altitude. Okay. Um, and the soil, it's much like wine. So right. when you have different grapes that are grown around the world, it's the same with coffee. Okay. Um, the soil absolutely affects the flavor and you'll have some volcanic soil in different places mm. and the weather, you know, there's a place in Guatemala where one side of the mountain has okay coffee, mm -hmm. but the other side of the mountain that gets a little more shade and it's a little different temperature at night okay. has fantastic coffee. Yeah, so amazing. those are the coffees that we're looking for right. that are fantastic and really stand out. But what Scotty's doing with the roast is is, is pretty amazing. I mean, he is winning awards mm -hmm. all over the country and all over the world, but it's because of what he's doing, he's, what the flavors he's right. bringing out. out. Okay. The other thing I wanted to bring up, I don't think um, many people realize this, but these guys are truly stars in <laughs> the, the coffee, coffee industry. I, right. I, I was just, you I are. was reading on their blog that they won, you know, the golden yeah, I might, bean. yeah, the North American Compact Golden Bean competition and gold medal and, and yeah and they won the gold medal and it's for and it's not a, a small little competition from what i was reading yeah. it's one of the largest if not one of the largest competitions in should the, i say north america or absolutely in north america okay. there were over 600 coffees submitted mm -hmm. um more than 275 roasters in the competition wow. yeah. and his coffee came out on top it's so amazing. it's quite it's quite a good feeling to go to Portland and take an award like that away. Yeah, back here at our. And quite frankly, town. you guys should brag about that because yeah, I really mean, should. when people think of coffee, they think of what like yeah, Portland, Seattle, mm -hmm. and we're in Cresta. <laughs> <laughs> Which many yeah, we people don't know how to say. <laughs> well, we didn't, right. even, we didn't even know how to say it at first. When you right. when you win something like that, you're kind of like, what? Yeah. How do I say that? <laughs> right. I'm going to sound like a jerk You need to wear a little that, crown, but a little right. golden bee crown. <laughs> yeah. And when you walk into the store, there's also so two of the things that I, I really want to, on their website, um, you know, there's there's coffees in the store that are amazing, that and you do seasonal and then you have coffees throughout the year that are that you maintain mm -hmm. so they have a beautiful website oceanacoffee.com where you can go on there and buy your coffee you can if you're a wholesaler if you're a business and yep. you are interested in selling their or you're giving your clients the coffee you have a, a really great wholesale program yep. and also a lot of people we don't think a lot of people realize that you have these stores here even though they're local i mean most of us do but yep. There's a adorable store on a Federal Highway 
just north of yep. Tequesta Drive. And we're in this adorable little coffee shop right off of Old Dixie Highway in like the warehouse district and it's really cute. Yep. So. And you um, guys are getting your coffee into major food distributors like uh, Whole Foods? Whole Foods, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, It'll be in Whole Foods in the next month. It's wonderful, it really is. And we're so excited that we have you. And you guys are true entrepreneurs. You completely, Absolutely. you had a dream, you had a vision, you took something you were passionate about, you left your careers basically and started this um, business and it's growing and growing and evolving and evolving and that's what my idea of a true entrepreneur is and I'm really excited for you both. So instead of going to the large franchise coffee shops, support our local businesses and especially one that has won so many awards. Yeah. I mean, get a chance, stop by. Um, I don't think you guys will regret it. I think you'll really like yeah. it a lot. Definitely come by. And I had mentioned the two locations, one on um, Federal Highway, just north of Tequesta Drive, and this adorable location, their first location right off of Old Dixie Highway. All right, thank you.